my brother had a black market vape business in middle school. <laughs> I believe it was my first or second year of college. I came home for Christmas break and I walk in the house and you can just tell there's some type of argument going on. My mom's going through my little brother's bedroom. My sister's kind of laughing. My dad's just shaking his head. There's this heated exchange between my parents and my little brother who's in like sixth or seventh grade at the time. And my sister's like, oh, did you I hear about Wayne's business? Well, my mom goes off. My mom found out that my brother was bringing home, because this was right when all the vaping stuff got really popular and just started. And if you're under 18, you couldn't, you couldn't buy that stuff. So when kids got them, they tried to make them last. Well, my brother figured out how to, and this was the old mod vapes, like the ones with the big battery packs that you have on them. My brother figured out how to fix the batteries when they would go out or when the things would burn up or whatever. I don't know enough about vape, but he was fixing them and reselling them at his school. Well, it's a private Catholic school. So it's kids with parents' money. These kids, all these middle schoolers have cash on them. So when my brother would, when a vape would break, my brother would take it as collateral, fix it, and resell it at school to the highest bidder. My dad was just getting handed wads of cash by my little brother. And he was like, just put it in my savings, just put it in my savings. Little entrepreneur. And my dad just didn't question where it was coming from. And then one day, after a couple months, my mom asked my dad, like, how does he have this much money in his savings account? He's a middle schooler. Her dad's like, oh, I thought you were giving it to him. I didn't know where it was coming from. <laughs> my mom freaks out. Where are you getting all this money? Goes and confronts my brother. Where are you getting all this money? And my brother finally confesses. He opens up. He had a whole toolbox full of old vapes that he was fixing and selling at school for like 60, 70 bucks a pop. That, so the story itself, hilarious. But obviously, when you think about the vaping itself, I think people know how bad it is and how addictive it is. I, fortunately, I've never gotten into using nicotine, so I'm not a problem I've ever had to face. But me and my brother have had conversations about it before because he's, you know, that era of kids that where vaping was really popular before they knew how bad it was for it. And it's just crazy how addicting it is for kids. I mean, you even see kids who try to get off of it by using just like old school nicotine like cigarettes or dip or zins, but like. That vaping shit, man, that's that's bad, 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 bad. I think it was Steve Will Do It from the Nelk Boys was saying, like, it was, like, the hardest, hardest uh, addiction he's ever had to break, but he was, like, he swears that it was put out there just as a way to, to kill people, and it's hard not to believe it when you see just how addicting it is for people. I mean, even at that level, you think about it from a middle school level, like, these kids were so desperate to get vapes because they couldn't buy them at the store that my brother's out here basically making <laughs> A business out of fixing them and reselling them it's just it's crazy to think about so and again you know it ain't my place to judge i don't care if people vape it's not my it's not my thing luckily but i've got plenty of other issues to deal with but i just feel for people who are trying to get off of it and stuff you just hear people talk like it's the worst addiction ever it's like right up there with like crack and shit so i'm just like damn that's 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 wild 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 so but that's my vaping story i think it's a pretty good one and like i said i never could get into vape. very first time i try to vape I was a jewel at a at a house party in college, and I just remember how bad it burnt my throat. And I'm like, nah, dude, that ain't for me. I'll stick to drunk cigs every once in a while, but I'm doing anything else besides besides that. So, but that uh, that vape story was was classic for me. And, and my brother, I think he jumped himself up about nine hundred bucks in his savings account over over his little business as a middle schooler. And I love that my dad just never asked where the money was coming from. He just assumed that he was getting it from a family member or something or had it stored up in his room. <laughs> like never thought to be like, where's all this cash coming from? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's my little brother for you, a real entrepreneur. But that was that was one of my one of my favorite family stories. So. A lot more family stories come on here and and yeah we're just gonna keep trucking along and see where this takes us so hope everyone's well that's today's episode talks with tom